All right, take 45. Hey, it's John here and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're gonna be doing a video on how to get rid of Forge in Minecraft and mods for that matter. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the simple steps on how to remove Forge from your Minecraft and how to uh, remove mods from the mods folder. Uh, if somebody else installed the mods, this is going to be kind of a step-by-step -step on how to remove them. If you installed mods, then you kind of should remember how to do it. But if you don't, here we go. All right. It's really simple. The first thing we need to do is we need to find the actual folder, the physical folder that houses uh, the, the mods inside of it. I'm going to be doing the instructions on a Mac, but I'm also going to go, go ahead and show you guys the instructions on how to do it on a PC. So the first thing we need to do is type in Shift, Command, G, and this is on a Mac. And it's going to give me this go to folder. I'm going to type into the go to the folder this string right here, this tildes little mark right next to the number one key, the top left hand corner there. And you're going to type that in uh, slash, I think it's, is that forward slash? Yeah, because it's, it's falling forward, forward slash library slash application space support slash Minecraft. I'll put the uh, the string in the uh, the description below. You guys can just copy and paste it directly into the go to the folder uh, and press uh, and press go. Now, if you're using a PC on a PC, you need to type in the Windows key, which is right next to the the space bar or one key over, depending on your keyboard, and then the uh, the R key, and that will take you to that same go to menu. It's a finder. It's a find menu, I think it is, or a run menu, and you're gonna type in this string right here, which is the uh, I just put it into Google, don't mind this window, that's not what your run window will look like. It's going to be a percentage sign, app data, and I don't know if app data needs to be capitalized, but I would just go ahead and leave it the way it is. The percentage sign, backslash, one that falls backwards, uh, dot Minecraft. And it takes you to the same folder that we're in uh, right now, but on PC. So that gives you both. Well, this one's for Mac, the, one, the first one I just did, and that one I just showed you guys was for PC or uh, Windows computers. So now we're in our our folder here. We're gonna go ahead and find our mods folder. It should be about halfway down. Uh, it's right there. If you don't have a mod folder, that means you don't have mods. Uh, the mods folder is installed when Forge is installed. Once Forge is installed, it, it automatically puts that in there or you put it in yourself. So we, we know we have mods because, well, I use mods all the time. So we have these four mods in my mods folder right now, the better PVP and some other chance cubes and forestry and whatnot. I want to go ahead and remove them. I, I highlight all of them. I'm going to drag them and I'm put them in my mods folder, which is right be behind my face. I'm just going to go ahead and drop them in here. Um, that's where I store all my mods. I have a mods folder on my desktop, and I store all my mods that I download in there, the uh, ones that work, and that way I can keep them for a later time in case I want to add them or remove them at any given time. Okay, so now we have no mods installed in Minecraft whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and close this window out. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to remove Forge uh, from Minecraft as well. So let's go ahead Let's go ahead and launch Minecraft, the first thing you have to do. We're just going to go into the launcher. You don't actually have to go into the game itself in order to, to try this. You can go into the game to test it out if you like, but in order for, for you to remove Forge, you don't need to actually go into the game. So the first thing you're going to see is uh, this. It, it'll probably look like this for you. If you don't, ha if you don't have the, the links on the bottom there, click this little three lines on the side right here, the little menu icon, and it'll drop this menu down. It should say News, Skins, Settings, and Launch Options. Now, if I go down here where the start button is to play the game, um, I can click this little arrow and it'll take me to all my versions that I have installed and have ready to go uh, in my machine. So Forge 1.10, um, then I think I have Forge 1.10.2 right there, and then 1.12 and so on down the line. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, one of them for right now. I'm going to leave most of them in there, but I'm going to show you guys how to remove one. I'm going to click on Launch Options right there underneath uh, the Minecraft logo. And it's going to take you to all the loads, all the ones that you just saw in that drop down. They're right here. This is where the settings are for those particular uh, loads. So I'm going to find Forge right here. I found Forge 1.10, and I want to get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to give me this window here. This window gives me the name, the version, and any other information about Forge, about that version of Forge. So say I want to get rid of it. Say it's not working very well, and I want to get rid of it. All you got to do is click this delete key. Boom, and confirm it, and it's gone. And that's it. I no longer have Forge 1.10 uh, in my game. I have 1.10.2 here twice for whatever reason. I can go ahead and get rid of one of them. That's bye bye. 
There, now, now it's a little cleaner. I have it up. Oh, and that's not Forge right there. Okay. Just making sure I, I don't have a bunch of versions over and over and over again for whatever reason. Nope. I just got 1.12, 1.10.2, and that's it. Perfect. So now all I got to do is click on uh, click on the Minecraft logo again. And that's going to take me back to the main load screen. And if I click this little arrow, it'll give me all the versions of Forge I have remaining. If you have none remaining, then you won't see any there, but I still have, where did it go? There it is, 1.10.2, and I have 1.12. That's the only versions I have installed for the time being, and that's fine. That's all I wanted. The only real reason you want to get rid of Forge is if it's either glitching out or you just flat out think it's bad for your machine. I've never had a bad experience with Forge. I've had it fail on me. I've had to uninstall it like I just did right now and then go back down, download it again and reinstall it. If you have to reinstall like the version of Forge I just removed, 1.10, say that was a failing on me. If that was failing on me, I would not reinstall the same version that I downloaded on my machine. I would go back to the Forge website here. I'll show you where that's at and re-download it just in case the version you downloaded was corrupt and that's why it was failing on your Minecraft. So you don't want to reinstall what you already downloaded, you want to download a new version of it. And it's really easy to find. All you got to do is type in Minecraft Forge and you're going to see this wonderful site pop up at the very top here. files.minecraftforge.net Don't go to the... Okay, let me, let me go back. See this top one that's here right here? Minecraft-downloads slash forge I personally have never clicked onto this. It's an ad. Somebody's advertising this. It's not necessary. Minecraftforge.net is the only site I've ever gone to to download Forge. If you have other sites that seem safe to you, that's up to you. Um, I'm not going to recommend any other one other than this particular site. So I'm going to go over here and say I want to download that same version, 1.10. See, there's a two versions here, 1.10.2 and 1.10. And click on that one and then I can go ahead and install it if you want to download it for Mac it's this one here it says installer and if it's for Windows it's that one right there and click on that and it's going to take me to an ad page don't click this bottom garbage see this countdown at the top you're gonna to wait for that to go away and you're gonna click on skip and it's gonna automatically down for, download forge and you're gonna say keep and now it's downloaded in your downloads folder or whatever folder you have set up. I use the download folder by default. And that's where my downloads uh, went to, my download went to, and I can go ahead and double click that and reinstall it into uh, into Minecraft. But uh, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't reinstall an old version that I had before. You can go ahead and close out this window and I'm gonna go ahead and close out that window. And now you can go ahead and select the version that you wanna play. Play vanilla, good old vanilla Minecraft uh, 1.10.1 or point two, sorry, and I'm gonna just go ahead and press play, and that'll take me into Minecraft. If uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to answer them for you. But that's basically it, dudes and dudettes out there. There's not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. I hope I answered any of your guys' questions in this video. If you guys like this type of video, you guys want to see more instructional stuff like this, more tutorial things, I'm gonna show you guys how to install mods in the near future from a Mac to Xbox. That's coming up very, very shortly. I found software to do it, so yay. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If you guys can click that subscribe. Like I said before, um, if you do like this video, if you guys can give me a big fat thumbs up down below, it's greatly appreciated. And if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button, it does help the channel out a great deal. And while you're at it, if you click the little bell, it turns on notifications, and it lets you do to do that to know when we upload our videos. And until next time, guys, see ya.